Well, I mean, there's a lot of women that come in and there's um, quite a bit of misconceptions, I think, around mastectomy. So um, we always hear like, I want a mastectomy. I want a double mastectomy. I don't need them. I just want to live. And that, that small kind of term, you know, honestly, the surgical decision that women make, whether it's lumpectomy, mastectomy, it doesn't change how long they live because the biology of our cancer is what will decide um, how advanced the cancers are. Um, there's this, you know, I know a lot of women focus on breast cancer that developed in the breast that showed up on a mammogram or they, maybe they felt a lump, but all women with invasive breast cancer, which is you know, true breast cancer, some small segments of that cancer, little tiny stem cells from that cancer live in the bloodstream for the rest of that person's life. And that's true for all cancers. It's not just specific for breast. If you had colon cancer, lung cancer, you know, so the there's always this fear of reoccurrence, um, which can mean two different things. There's local reoccurrence in the breast from having the tumor sitting there and then removing it and having potential cells left there. Um, which is mitigated by radiation. So that helps with that. But regardless of what you do surgically, those cells that are living in the bloodstream are not affected by your choice of mastectomy and lumpectomy. So that is, um, you know, a really important concept to understand for yeah. patients that your surgical decision doesn't affect whether your cancer is going to spread to the liver, the lung, the bone, or never spread, right? That mm -hmm. That is the goal is that systemic treatment like chemo or um, anti-estrogen therapy. Um, people, you know, have heard the word tamoxifen thrown around. So um, those are the therapies that affect those cells and coat them so they never turn into a new cancer. But your surgical decision doesn't decide that. So the good news is that whether you have more advanced surgery, more aggressive surgery, it's not going to affect um, all of those really important outcomes like how long you're going to live. So it leaves women with more choices.